Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Jackson from the school of podcasting.com. Today we are talking podcasting myth number two, and that is if you build it, they will come. If you build it, he will come. Yeah, that's not really true. And you're like, no, 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 Dave, I'm going to go ahead and list my show in Apple and in Spotify and Google and Amazon, and, and then money will fall from heaven. And uh, when it doesn't, that's when people go, well, there's a discoverability problem in podcasting. And by discoverability, they mean nobody's discovering my podcast. And I interviewed Gary Arndt, who's doing very, very well in podcasting. And he had this to say about the discoverability issue in podcasting. People talk about the discovery problem in podcasting. There's no discoverability problem in podcasting any different than the discoverability problem in movies, music, books, or television shows. Exactly. And I remember speaking of music, when I was growing up, I was a musician and I thought, boy, if we could only get our music where people buy music. Well, we have that now. It's called Spotify. And like he said, Amazon, it's not a problem getting your product in front of people. It's getting people to actually tell their friends about it. And so what Gary is doing is he's finding podcasts where the audience of that podcast would more than likely like his show at everything-everywhere.com, and he's actually advertising on those shows. And this is really just a page right out of the movie industry. If you think about it, a movie will spend a large amount of budget to get the movie just right, and then they'll take another large chunk of their budget, and they'll go out and make sure that you're aware that that movie is in the theaters this weekend. And then the hope is that you will come out of the theater and tell a friend. But think about this. I know you might be going, ah, I don't know. It doesn't sound like something that maybe I should be doing or maybe you can't do. You don't have the budget. Gary brings up a good point that maybe you should start putting some money aside for promotion. The last Avengers movie, one of the biggest movies of all time in terms of box office. And moreover, it was the second part of a two-part series. Everybody knew it was coming, yet they spent over $200 million in promotion of the movie. And if the Avengers has to spend $200 million to promote their film, why do you think your media property, which is smaller, can get away doing nothing and just making social media posts? It's a pretty good point, isn't it? Think about the Avengers. Everybody knew that movie was coming. Why did they still promote it? Because that's how you get people in the theater. Now, if you need help making that phenomenal podcast that is going to inspire people to go, I can't wait to tell my friends about this show, come over and visit me at schoolofpodcasting.com. And if you found value in this video, can you do me a favor? Like, subscribe, ring the bell, the whole nine yards. I'm Dave Jackson from the schoolofpodcasting.com, and I'll see you in the next video.